last question are kind of just like feeler questions. So don't worry about you know getting into it. You can just do what you want to do. But just to kind of get you prepped because I've done this a little bit now. I'll just start off with your name and your role. Okay, I am Nicole Florence, and I serve as the director of orientation for the Office of Orientation and New Student Programs at North Carolina A&T State University. Awesome. So we we're going to jump to the first question here. What are some of your favorite things about working with VZ? I would have to say the staff, believe it or not. I'm not sure if you did a personality assessment or if we just naturally mesh well. Um, I've worked with other vendors and other platforms and there aren't people like the VZ staff that I work with. Um, they take their time, um, they're, they're very accessible at any moment's time. Um, and I kind of call them like my translators a little bit because they can translate code. They're, they won't even call it code or <laughs> whatever content that we need to give them, whether it be a site map or something like that, they won't even call it that, but they'll break it down where to the simplest terms um, and there's no way that you can um, not be comfortable with the process of setting up your platform. Well, it seems that customer service is important. How is that a value in your line of work? Um, it's a value because um, we rely heavily on this platform for all of our prospective students and their families, not just for family weekend, but also for orientation. And so every detail matters, whether it's a major code or whether it's something separate, like an advanced task list that they have to set up, or even something as simple as um, a guest creating, creating an account. Um, all of those details matter. So um, whether you're new to the platform or you're an advanced user, um, the customer service piece is important because it, it feels more like we've established a long-term relationship with the staff. And they have a unique thing that other vendors don't have. Um, and they know how to establish a relationship and make you feel comfortable whether you're familiar with the platform or not. Great response. Uh, we'll jump to the next one. Tell us a positive story about you, a staff member, student, and or supporter from last year's Family Weekend program. Ooh, a positive story. There's so many. I, I really don't know what to say. I feel like every experience, whether it be good or bad, is a learning experience, especially when you address it as the intent to learn from it. So, um, for example, last year um, was our first year having Family Weekend since COVID. And so we weren't going to plan to have Family Weekend at all, but all of a sudden there was this great demand from our parents and our families saying, what's going on with Family Weekend? What's going on with Family Weekend? Listen, if I didn't have Liz from VZ um, on board willing to like go through our website and understand all of the content that we would need on our platform to be successful, then I wouldn't know what to do. So um, that was a start. So we started with um, redoing our website for the year. Um, Liz was very instrumental in making sure she got all of the content for us and that everything worked out well, all email configurations and things of that sort. And, you know, we had a great turnout. We didn't play against like a really popular team, but we had a great turnout. We had well over 900 parents, not including students, register through this platform, and we didn't have any glitches whatsoever. So um, thanks, kudos to the staff for assisting us with that. So that was just a great experience for us. Although it was a little chaotic on, on the front end, but it ended out, it turned out well. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, what are the first three emotional words you think of when you work with VZ? Mm, there's so many, because um, a lot of times I feel like I project my emotions onto the staff sometimes, but um, the first three words that I can think of is one is like how considerate they are and um, 
I'm not sure how many projects. I know you mentioned some um, like a uh, summer tour for orientation, but whenever I speak with the VZ staff, um, they are very, very considerate um, in spite of the number of projects that they may have on their plate. So consideration is the first word that I would think of. The second would be priority, how they always make me a top priority no matter what I have going on. And the third being patience. They're extremely patient no matter how familiar I am with, with the platform. They always take their time to make sure that they see the task through, so. Great response. Uh, what is one of your favorite tools or features of VZO's Family Weekend Solution? So for me, um, on the day of, it was really convenient for me to have the email feature and the text feature. The text feature was just chef's kiss. <laughs> um, so if there were any like minor changes in regards to like logistics, I can just go to that text feature and everyone who's registered to receive text can receive a text like, hey, the location's changed here, or hey, we're ready to go ahead and start accepting those who have registered and you can get your welcome back. So that text feature, I think the students rely heavily on that and it was great for us. Thanks. Uh, next question. What saved you the most time by using VZO's Family Weekend Solution? So one thing that we do um, before each major event, whether it be through Family Weekend or for a new student orientation, is that we want to make sure that all of our students and volunteers is, are familiar with the VZ platform. Um, so we make sure we do at least, you know, a one to two hour training so that they can know how to register. Um, our students on site or parents or guests who walk up on site. We want them to be as familiar with the platform as possible to avoid any like glitches or um, delays in checking someone in. So it's really simple. Our, I've never had an issue with a student being able to become familiar with the platform. And so that pre-training right before is very essential for us. And, you know, time is always valuable. Uh, how much time have you saved uh, as a result of that, of the training and everything? Let me tell you. <laughs> so last summer, we had like close to like 3,400 students come through our um, orientation in person. And so our very first orientation, I believe we had well over 800 students on site and they were ready and able um, to go ahead and check in. And so we had over 12 or 15 um, student volunteers on their laptops up, open and ready to check our students in. They did all of the necessary requirements prior to, um, to make sure that they were imported in the system. Um, and so the check-in, although the line was around the gymnasium first thing in the morning, the check-in what took place within less than an hour. Wow. Yeah. So the training is important. <laughs> this is always my favorite question. Uh, how would you describe our work to your peers and colleagues to make them say, wow, I need to work with that company? Look, save yourself a headache and work with VZ. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. Um, this platform is designed for um, orientation professionals or practitioners, um, professionals who are in higher ed. Um, it just takes away the, the headache. Um, I know, especially like with the fiscal piece, it's so seamless for us, whether we are doing merchandising or registration, things of that sort. And the fiscal policies that we have in place for our campus, um, we are just able to do like a simple um, transfer and not touch those funds and still be in compliance, which is huge for us. Um, so I think it's great for any campus, especially the onboarding process for our students. Um, I think it's easy for prospective students and their parents to use and they're able to go back on the platform anytime to make changes and things of that sort. It has really been a lifesaver for our entire registration process for orientation here at North Carolina A&T. Great. 
so the next one, I usually say like the crystal ball or whatever, but uh, in my world, I, I meditate every morning for about 10, 15 minutes. I do visualization and try to do that. Awesome. Uh, so I like to do a, just a little experiment like I do every morning, but uh, tell us a future story, a visualization that doesn't exist of an experience by you, a staff member, student, and or supporter that was from maybe last year, but you would imagine that being in the future. How does that look? A visualization of something that happened. Well, I would like to have um, all of the information about VZ um, that we need up front, like on our website as well. Um, I would like in a in a ideal world um, for us to have um, no complaints <laughs> whatsoever. And it's not necessarily that um, parents or students have complaints about the, pro the, the platform. That's not the problem. Um, we just want to make sure that we give them as much information as possible um, about our onboarding process here on campus. So um, VZ has already been very helpful in that department. So I'm still trying to work on my crystal ball um, ideal um, experience, but that would be ideal for me if we had everything um, together, no glitches and hardly any questions, but um, that would be great. Uh, well, we'll work in the back room very hard for you. So <laughs> yeah, you always do. So I appreciate it. Okay. Before we end the recording here, uh, is there anything you'd like to bring up? Um, no, uh, of course, I'm one of you all's biggest fans. Um, I always advocate for this platform. Um, you all have been very resourceful, and I, I don't know what we would do um, without you all. So we rely heavily on, on this platform. Well, we're here to serve you and your wishes, and as the new things arise, uh, we're waiting for you um, in open arms. So thank you very much for your time.